based off the title of this movie, I'm sure you're imagining this as a romantic comedy, and it's the complete opposite. So let's talk about Sweetheart. Sweetheart stars Kiersey Clemens in a uh, survival thriller creature feature, kind of? Uh, basically, the film opens up with a woman waking up on an island, and you don't know why she's there, you don't know what happened prior. She basically wandered around the island, and like most survival movies, you know, she does the normal check of the other people here, and she's just fighting for her survival. Well, one night, she realizes she's not alone on this island, and I don't mean other people. I mean there's something out there stalking, watching, listening, waiting, and that's all I'm going to say, because I think the less you know, the better. Clemens gives a fantastic performance. She gives off the tone of, like, this this worn-down woman just fighting, just, like, going minute by minute, just day by day, just trying to survive and trying to find some way off this island, some way to get help. And it's, and it's a really visceral performance. Like, she goes all in. And it's really good. Like, she... Great, great stuff. Since this is a survival movie, you know there's going to be practical effects between wounds or hunting or gathering material, all that good stuff. And the practical effects are really good in this. They're gnarly, they're brutal, they're vicious. I believe this was made very cheaply. Because this, this doesn't look like a big film. Because you have one actress for most of the movie in one set location. And the practical effects totally work. To me, this was a really intense film. I love survival movies, like stuff like The Shallows and Crawl and Castaway. One person or a group of people fighting for survival. I've always liked those type of movies, so this might be a little soft spot for me. But I found it was really tense. I thought when she was fighting, literally fighting for survival, I thought it was all done. I... I got worried for her, which is always a great thing, because you want people to care about your characters at the end of the film. The location is gorgeous. I'm not sure where they filmed it at, but wherever they filmed it, it looks really good. There's a lot of establishing shots of the island, of the sea, and it looks all looks really good. I'm not going to spoil it, but this film is one of my favorite shots in a long while, and and it's a shot that kind of, like, made my chest tense up. And I would totally show it, but I think that ruins the oomph behind it, so I'm not going to. But I'm sure you'll know what I'm talking about if you've seen the movie. This film is totally not for everyone. If you don't like films like The, the Shallows and Crawl, you're totally hate going to hate this movie. It's very similar to those. It's a... Uh, just one actress surviving, thriving, fighting in one single location. Those type of films aren't for everyone. I know they're not. So, forewarned. The creature feature aspect, the thing that is on the island with her, could turn people off. I think it looks cool. I think it's a dope design. But, if you're not expecting that, you could. I, I could see people getting turned off by it. A little minor spoiler, but the opening scene, the opening scene, the opening scene kind of hints at this, so it's not really a spoiler. But other people are in the movie, other castaways, I guess you want to say. And their performances are nowhere near as good as Clemens, so they're the weak link, especially since she's so good in this. It kind of, it's kind of like right there. And, yeah, Sweetheart, I dug it. I think it's the pacing's a little bit off in the second act because it, like, ramps up, then 
draws it back down, then ramps back up and draws it back down. And I don't mind stuff like that, but in certain movies, like a thriller, it, it kind of kills the pace a bit. We have Sweetheart, and there's a reason why it's called Sweetheart. The film goes into it. I also sat through this constantly thinking, like, why is the film called Sweetheart? This doesn't make sense. It's a survival movie. Why is it called Sweetheart? But it it kind of makes sense. Like, I get why why they call it Sweetheart, but I kind of like, eh, you could have chosen a different title to market this better. But yeah, great lead performance, good practical effects, super tense, it's shot well. I dug this a lot. It's on Netflix. It's by Blumhouse, so if you like Blumhouse, you'll probably dig this. So, thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe.